Okay, let's go through some of the surface commands in inroads, um, some of the editing tools and other commands and whatnot. Okay, so I have a surface. Um, first thing I want to do is I'm going to view my triangles. Actually, the first thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and view the contours. That's usually what you like to do. Um, existing surface close. I'm not even sure what this looks like offhand. Uh, let's go with an interval of one. Display it. And, okay, the first thing we can see some obvious errors uh, with the triangles, especially here along the perimeter. Looks like there's a couple little spots here where something may have got triangulated that shouldn't be. Uh, you see our road coming through here. There's some obvious errors there. So let's use some of the basic surface commands to clean this thing up a little bit. Let me delete these contours. And let's go to surface, view surface, and let's view our triangles. Uh, you select your surface. In this case we only have one surf, uh, survey. Click apply. Processing. Give it a couple seconds. And there's the triangles. I'll close that out. And so you can see again some of the obvious errors we have. Uh, the first thing I want to do is clean up these ponds. Uh, these areas here, these are ponds. There's one there, there, there. Um, and what we want to do is we want to eliminate the triangles inside of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my surface, um, update surface display, and I have my pond edges uh, defined. I'll come down here. Pond, I have them numbered uh, 139 through 145. And actually, let's go to, first of all, let's go to surface, uh, feature, feature properties, and we'll see, let's scroll down to our pond uh, features. Let's select one, and if you look over here, see the type is brake line and what we're going to do is we're going to change those to interior and what that does is anything inside of that line um, doesn't get triangulated so let me go ahead and select all my pawns I'm going to use my shift button and I'm just going to change them all to interior I'll click apply close let me zoom out a little bit so we can see. And then what I'll do is let me go ahead and re-triangulate the surface. And let me go to surface, view surface, triangles, I'll click apply. Processing. And that's better. You see inside the ponds, now we have no triangles. Nothing got triangulated inside the uh pond edges. Okay, so let's get rid of some of these triangles out here along the perimeter that obviously don't belong. Uh, let me do a quick measurement. How far, how far is this? There to there. 109 feet. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to surface, triangulate surface, and I'm going to set my maximum length to and let's say 100. This way any triangles with edges longer than a length of 100 feet won't get triangulated. Uh, so let me go ahead and click apply. And it's done triangulating. Close. So let's go ahead and update this view. So I'll go to surface, update. Uh, I'll select my triangles and just leave everything else unselected. These are all my features. Uh, contours and whatnot. And I'll just click refresh and we'll give that a couple seconds to process and there we go. I'll close that out and you see some of our triangles have disappeared, some of those longer triangles. Um, now obviously the rest of these triangles uh, like these, these need to go, these need to go and they must be um, a little shorter than 100 feet which is why they're still there. So we can delete those. We can go to Surface, Edit Surface, 
and I'll come down here to delete triangle and again you select your surface in this case again we just have one and I'll click apply and let me zoom in and just draw a line through the triangles you want to delete you see they highlight and if you look down in the bottom left accept reject just left click to accept your selection and we'll draw a line through some more of them uh, let's get rid of these we'll get rid of those we'll get rid of these um, these obviously have to go and you can see you can zip through these things with this tool pretty quick of course you have to be careful not to delete any triangles that you might want to actually keep and let's scroll up here see if there's any more okay that looks good for now and let me right click and we'll get out of that and let me go ahead and save that let's go ahead and retriangulate that just for good measure and let's go ahead and update the display and we're processing processing and now you see some of these triangles came back and that's because although we deleted the triangles the points that form them did not get deleted and let's uh, let's go to surface update I'm just going to turn all my features on close that out and if you see we have some some of our uh, random points out here there's a point and that's uh, it's probably a break line feature there's some more points and so you see triangulation taking place between see there's a random point out here uh, sure we'll find one out here and so anyway that's why those triangles came back uh, let's let's go ahead and turn those features off select none uh, just to clean up our view a little bit and so another way to clean up some of those triangles and I'm going to go in here and I'm going to turn this um, this uh, level on right here and you see this green line I have drawn around the perimeter I'm going to create a perimeter and a perimeter feature and that will be an exterior feature similar to what our ponds were we created an interior feature where no triangulation takes place inside of the feature well exterior is similar except no triangulation takes place outside of the feature so I'm going to create an exterior boundary and then we'll go ahead and retriangulate triangulate the surface uh, there's a couple ways of creating this uh, one way we'll go to file import surface and we'll use from graphics because uh, that's just a line I drew in microstation it has no elevations or anything I drew it ahead of time so you wouldn't have to sit there and watch me draw it but it's just a it's just a smart line just a microstation graphic um, so in our import surface dialog surface from survey again that's our only surface load from single element and elevations I'm going to use drape surface the intercept surface will be survey again our only surface uh, I'm just going to name it about, or, uh, eh, about perimeter I'll give it a style of uh, let's see surface original ground I guess and the point type this is going to be exterior um, and I'll exclude it from triangulation and when I have that set I'll click apply and I'll just zoom in so I can select it I'll select my line and if you look down the bottom left accept or reject I'll left click to accept it and then I'll click close 
And now we have our exterior boundary. So what we can do is we can go to surface, triangulate surface, and we'll just uh, click apply. Give it a couple seconds. Click close. And then we can update our view. Either surface update, just click refre uh, refresh, or surface view surface triangles. Click apply. We'll give it a couple seconds. It's processing. Processing. And there we go. You see the uh, rogue triangulation disappeared along the perimeter there. You can see that um, nothing gets triangulated outside the, the uh, green perimeter. So let's take another, another look at our contours. Uh, let me go to update. I'm going to turn our triangles off. Give that a couple seconds. There we go. And let's go to surface, view surface, contours, uh, preferences, I'll click apply. And it looks a little better, doesn't it? And we still have these, which uh, again, we'll have to zoom in and see what's going on there. And again, we'll have to see what's going on with our road. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn my all my features on. So let me just go to Update, Display, right click, select all, turn all my features on, click Close, and let's, uh, let's zoom in on couple of these and we can see a point there. Let me see if I can hover over it and we'll see what we have. E topo ran it's a random shot and it's an IPF, the name IPF iron pin found. So those probably shouldn't have been triangulated. And it looks like they were. Here's another one. And another yep, IPF. Okay. So let's go into surface feature, go into our properties, and let's look for our iron pins. And you see they've been assigned a point type of or a feature type of random, and but they probably should have been excluded from triangulation. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and um, select our exclude from triangulation, click apply, click close, and then let me, let me go ahead and turn our features off again just to clean this up a little bit. Select none, turn our features off, close, and now that I changed the iron pins to do not triangulate, let's go ahead and re-triangulate this surface, and then we'll re-display it. Let's go to Surface, View Surface, Contours, I'll click Apply, and there we go. You see those uh, little blotches that were there disappeared. Looks like we still have one left, though. So there must be something here. 